I just said to them, I hate violence, and I just got a load of abuse from some of these uh, black shirt guys standing nearby. And, and anybody who disagrees with disagreed with the fascists in the past got beaten up. takes me five minutes because the MTR station was smashed up and these people had the cheek to stand outside the MTR station broadcasting their nonsense as people walked past. So I just said to them, um, excuse me, I like traveling by MTR, um, I hate violence, I like peaceful protest and I just got a load of abuse from some of these uh, black shirt guys standing nearby. It was really impolite. Uh, I'm an older guy, I'm over 50 quite obviously, and I think I deserve a little bit of respect in Chinese culture and they have got no civilization and uh, no culture, those people. We are not really supposed to talk to the students about the way we feel uh, uh, about the politics. Um, so I would be very surprised if any teacher had been radicalising the, the students. The shocking thing is that they're highly intelligent and very professional people. So why they support these black shirts, I have no idea. Biased, definitely. They give the impression that, they, that the rioters are democracy campaigners and freedom fighters. And it's ridiculous. They're just folks and bullies makes things a lot worse because the rioters think that they've got support and so that encourages them to carry on. Disgusted and shocked by the violence. Oh, the things we've all seen on TV, almost burning a man to death, uh, nearly burning a family to death in Seung Tsui. A, a politician was stabbed, big gangs of bullies have, have beaten up mainland Chinese people uh, in the streets. A, a cleaner, a poor cleaner, was hit by a brick and killed. But people still throw bricks and petrol bombs. Uh, it's, it's disgraceful. You look at Italy and Germany in the 1930s, men in black shirts, wandering around, bullying, beating up uh, only one particular national group, smashing up their shops. Um, they're very anti-immigrant, just like the fascists. Um, it's fascism, if you ask me. And, and anybody who disagrees with disagreed with the fascists in the past got beaten up. Same in Hong Kong now. They don't realise how fascist they are and how fascist they look. <laughs>